Carlos Newton, also known as the Roman, takes on Jose Pele Landi, the Valley to go expert from Brazil. Tough match, Brian. Oh, man, he picked an opponent right there. He is a Thai boxing expert with KO power. You should see his knees, flying knees all over the place. This fight could actually end in a KO. You're a pre-med student. Tell me about that. Well, uh, I'm going to university in Canada. We didn't use the term pre-med, but we have pre-med requisites that we have to do before we enter med school, and that's what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm doing uh, study linguistics, psychology, and uh, pre-med. <laughs> then why in the world are you getting in the ring and fighting Pele? Uh, because I'm pretty motivated to be a fighter. I love fighting. And I want to be the world's greatest middleweight, welterweight fighter that's ever been. You know, and uh, that's basically my drive. And Pele is a stepping stone. You know, he's considered one of the great fighters of my weight class. And yeah, we're gonna take that step. When you become a doctor, are you still gonna fight? Definitely. I want to be an orthopedic surgeon and fighting at the same time. So will you have double practices? Won't that be conflict of interest? You hurt the guy in the ring and then they'll go to you later? Yeah, I'll make more money that way. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you that one. <laughs> oh yeah, you work good. <laughs> Carlos Newton is one of the most formidable submission guys on the ground. On his back, he's got a great triangle choke, a great arm bar. It could go either way. Classic battle of striker versus grappler. Boss, I'm really looking forward to this fight. This fight has been in the making for years. There's been talk about these guys fighting. There he is, Carlos Newton, the Ronin. A very colorful, flamboyant character, one of the greatest grapplers in mixed martial arts, facing that man, Jose Pele Landy, one of the greatest strikers in mixed martial arts on paper. This looks to be the grappler versus the striker, but both men know both games well. Yeah, only the one knows the one a little bit better, let's say it like that. Yes. So uh, it's going to be a, a perfect match. Could be a knockout or could be a submission. It's going to be a knockout. Pele side, is, if it's a submission, it's kind of side. That's what I think. But both we men, never know. Yeah, both men coming off losses. Carlos Newton was the UFC welterweight champion. He lost that to Matt Hughes via body slam is a controversy. Pele coming off a loss to Matsui. Look at Pele, he's like psyche, man. This is a psych job here. Pele, look at this. Pele with his hands down. Oh, oh. high kick by Pele. And the first one. That means keep your hands up. Pele knows that Newton wants this fight on the ground and vice versa. It's the knees of Pele that are the dangerous striking weapon. Pele can punch kick with the knees. A jab by Carlos Newton. Oh, and a nice left uppercut by Carlos Newton. And he's probably going to go for a takedown. Oh, beautiful. Good, good knee by Pele. Pele going for the, the body slam almost. They're wrestling now. Newton is so smooth. The way he escaped is his leg picks. It's, it's not real. Look, look. He tries and he's out. Tried for a throw there by Newton. They lay dangerous with those knees. Yeah, you better watch out now, dude. With the left, he threw the head. Yeah, because if he leans down there low, Pele will bring Oh, nice. Good take down there by Carlos Newton into the guard of Jose Pele Landy. And he's working already to pass the. I've got, what is it, the butterfly guard? Yeah, no, it's the full guard now. Carlos won't let Pele close his legs. He doesn't want it. He wants to go. There is where he wants to go. Ooh, nice shot. But from that side, he can hit with the right to the liver. Okay, the liver. I love when you say that. <laughs> I love it too. Say it one more oh, my God, the standing. Back up. Carlos going for the guillotine. Pele going for the takedown. Pele getting the takedown. Carlos on the bottom. Pele, look at this. Pele in a dangerous uh, entanglement here, possibly. Pele should just stand back up. Stand back up, that's right. And they go back. Whoa! What a wild fight here. <laughs> this is so good. Two men with all this experience. 
Both in their 20s, Pele at 28, Carlos Newton 25, Carlos Newton from Canada, Pele from Curitiba, Brazil. Yeah, Carlos has watched the knee, oh, he's watched the Oh, what a beautiful takedown, it's like a judo throw. It was an excellent takedown by Carlos Newton. You don't see this a lot, it's kind of dangerous though, because your opponent can choke you if you do it wrong. Pele looking and getting back up, oh, wow. Pele back down on the bottom. You see now, this is an action fight. But neither man has been in a boring fight ever that I've seen. So, when we say action packed, the best is yet to come. I think so too. They will keep it up. They both have the stamina for it. Uh, that, oh yeah, this is, this is going to be great. Whoa! It almost looks like he wanted to go for some leg lock, which is going to tie it right to the head from uh, Newton here. He's controlling it very well. He's got the side by now. Uh, what, what I mentioned in one of the earlier fights. Uh oh! And Pele getting back up. And I mentioned in an earlier fight, Pele in position for a triangle, but it's not going to work against Newton. Newton too good at defending and getting offensive in his grappling mode. Uh, when I said in an uh, earlier fight, I asked you uh, if uh, fight, the fight was creative. Both of these gentlemen are very creative. They're, they're trying things that might not necessarily have ever been tried before. They, they'll put themselves in a minute of danger to try and get the advantage or get out of a stalemate. Yeah, it's like Carlos Ruiz said in our previous interview. He said, I don't care about, 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 I don't think about somebody getting me in a submission. If I see something, I go for it. I don't care, you know, I just go. And that makes the fight exciting. A lot of people are afraid to lose position when they make, when they make uh, submission attempts, but he doesn't. And that's why this fight is so exciting, because Pele is doing the same thing. He tries to knock him out after a little moment. Look at this. Look at this escape. Is this great? Oh, 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 bar. Oh, right into the arm bar. Pele is in a bad position. Oh, no, he's bad got position. Out. He's getting out. He got out. Whoa, look at him. He's smiling at him. He says, no, 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 no. What an excellent exchange. They are really, really going to the tat here. Oh, Pele is going to try and knock his head off. Like Carlos Luther said, what do you think? We asked him what Pele will do. He said, he's probably going to try to keep my head up and kick it out of the ring. That's what he's going to do. Pele trying with a home run, right hand over the top. He misses wildly. The oh, knee. oh, big knee, but he's a front kick, actually. Pele hurt Carlos Luther, sent him down on his back with that strike. He started off as a knee, but it ended up being a, looked like a soccer kick. Oh, good left hand, but returned with the left body by Pele. I don't know that Carlos Newton wants to try this game plan with Pele. He's got to do something. He's got to punch himself in to set him off and then go for the takedown because... The knee by Carlos, but it had nothing on it. Pele setting up that left knee. Good position for the left knee. In the, in the plumb clinch here, this is a bad position for Carlos Newton. If Pele lands one knee, the fight could be over. Good escape by Newton. Oh. Oh! Beautiful knee! Oh my God! What a beautiful knee by Pele! Carlos is smiling at us, took that knee! Dump front kick by Pele! Wow! Right on the button, Carlos' head has to be spinning right now! He was smiling! Low kick, Carlos is out of it right here! Yep. He's out of it! He's, Carlos, Pele should not do this, he's not going to do Pele knows he's in trouble. Carlos has got to be really out of it right now. Yes, he, he, he better hold on to it very tight and recoup a little bit because I, I think Carlos' eyes were open and he nodded to him, but I think for a second he was out on his feet. He was out on his feet. He, he, very, he camouflaged it very well by putting his thumb up and saying, Look at Pele smiling. smiling like a thing, okay. But I, I think that took a great deal out of Carlos Newton. I think so too, but Pele should take advantage of it. He should really go right right knee, knee, knee. Look at this. Now he can lose position. Carlos can underhook now with his right leg. He can hook Pele's left leg and then try to take it down. But not now anymore. Pele defending oh, well. Oh, oh. Nice body shot there from the right. We could hear it here, but uh, Pele going to go for a triangle? No, it's, I think he's got his left leg in between Carlos' leg, yes. But if I have a fight. Pele pounding away. Pele going for knee bar, maybe. Oh. Whoa. Look at this. Now Pele 
really, really good grappling. Very stylized grappling by both men. Carlos looks like his head is starting to become clearer. Again. Amba coming up. Amba coming up. Three minutes. He's got the Amba coming up. Oh my God, this could be it. This could be it. He's got to squeeze his hips up. Carlos trying everything he can to arm our Pele. Yeah! I think tactically, Pele made a huge mistake in this fight. Yep. He had Carlos Newton out on his feet. All he had to do was stand up and kickbox with him. Yeah. And he would have knocked him out with a flying ear or a high kick. But he went to the ground, tried to submit him, tried to play the game. That was, that was a, a case where, I don't know if it was Pele's ego got in the way or what, but he should have dictated the striking match. He did, but once on the ground, when he knocked him out with the knee and it was on the ground, he should have let him recoup. He should have continued. He ain't he getting out. And like you said, get up. Let's see, what, let's see what Carlos has to say about it. Oh, he's going to talk Japanese. We're not going to understand it for sure because he's learning Japanese right now. He speaks fluent Japanese. Hi, Kumawa. Here we go. That's good evening. That, that I can understand. Very good. Maybe he's talking about that girl. Don't know. We, we better talk about it because we're going to talk about her. Uh, he must have said something flattering about one of the uh, Japanese broadcast commentators. <laughs> He's saying thank you for your support, and uh, <laughs> was, he asked, how was my fight? <laughs> now he's telling a joke, <laughs> and there's the punchline. <laughs> And he said pride oh. fights are fun. Well, I'm sure that knee wasn't too much fun, but the ending was yeah. definitely fun for him. Wow, man. Yeah. Really impressive. And one thing that you really got to say about Carlos Newton is that he did it with really good, clean Here we go. The Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z Jiu Jitsu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Carlos Newton, what a technician on the ground. <laughs> Giving thanks to his chiropractor there. Yeah, well, you know, too, yes, no. <laughs> and uh, there's also his trainer there leaving the ring in the black, uh, Everton. Carlos Newton, clean technique, beautiful technique. Back in the West, a huge win, boss. What, yeah, a huge win. What do you think about Alex Stiebling and Carlos Newton? Ladies and gentlemen, Oh, that'd be a great fight. I think it'd be an excellent fight. 